We're going to go through how to back up data on a Blu-ray. So this is strictly a data copy to a Blu-ray disc. This is not creating a full Blu-ray movie or anything. So first thing you need are some discs. BDR, I got 25 gigabytes per disc, okay? Straightforward. Now, the second thing you do is just insert one of these blank discs into your Blu-ray burner. So I have a Buffalo BDXL Blu-ray burner. Ah, got, got to plug it in first, so I kind of forgot that. Once I plug it in, light comes on, I can open it up and insert the disc straightforward. Now the Blu-ray burner, this one came with a Cyberlink Suite. It was an older version, but I'm just using that. That's the toughest part probably is a lot of these burners might not come with anything. Okay. Now the software that it came with, uh, Cyberlink, this is Power2Go. It sticks right on the desktop, so I select Data Disk because that's what I'm using here. On the right, I have a drop down of D and E drive. D is my internal DVD drive. E is my Blu-ray. I don't know why it says Pioneer, but who cares? That's what it is, even though it's a Buffalo uh, Blu-ray disk. On the left side, you can see it has the generic E uh, data disk or whatever, Blu-ray disk. I'm going to rename it so that when you stick it in a, a PC, it says Super Bowl backup. This is a backup of the Super Bowl that I um, recorded years ago. I don't want to lose it. It's an MP4. So now basically all I'm going to do is add this file. I'm going to go find the Super Bowl MP4. It's like 18 gigs. I'm going to drop it in there and you'll see down at the bottom, blue is going to be highlighted all the way just, to, just past uh, the 18 gig mark, near the 20 mark. I'm going to find another file because I can see that I have room. I have up to 25 gigs to store here. And I'm going to look for some highlights, something else, whatever. I'm going to drop it in there to fill the rest of the disk. And once I do this, I'm just going to hit burn now. It's going to make a copy uh, of all these files. They're just going to be burnt on the disk. Again, this is just a data disk. You stick it in a PC that has a Blu-ray player, and you can copy them off or play them. If you stick it in a Blu-ray player, this is not menus. This is not a Blu-ray movie. But I will show how you can create a full Blu-ray movie disc um, in another video. But this is how you copy and back up Blu-ray or uh, files to a Blu-ray disc. You can see now it's at 0% and this goes on for a while until it's finally complete. And at that point I have it, I have all this data backed up on a Blu-ray disc, 25 gigs, super cool. Hope this helps.